Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see what is Advanced Delivery Policy in Microsoft Office 365. Well, Exchange Online Protection does not allow safe list or filtering bypass for messages that are identified as malware or high confidence phishing. But there are specific scenarios that require the delivery of unfiltered messages, for example, third party phishing simulations and security operations or SecOps mailboxes. What are SecOps mailboxes? So these are dedicated mailboxes that are used by security teams to collect and analyze unfiltered messages, both good and bad. Now we use the advanced delivery policy in exchange online protection to prevent inbound messages in these specific scenarios from being filtered. The advanced delivery policy ensures that messages in these scenario achieve the following results. Now there are filters in EOP and Defender for Office 365 that would take no action on these messages. Malware filtering is bypassed for SecOps mailbox only. Zero hour purge or zap for spam and phishing take no action on these messages. Safe links in Defender for Office 365 does not block that uh, the specified URLs in these messages at time of click and then safe attachments in Defender for Office 365 does not de detonate attachments in these messages. Default system alerts are not triggered. AIR and clustering in Defender for Office 365 ignore these messages. And specifically for third party phishing simulations, admin submission generates an automatic response saying that the message is part of phishing simulation campaign and it is not a real threat. And when a user reports a phishing simulation message using the built-in report button in Outlook or the Microsoft report message or report phishing add-ins, the system does not generate an alert, investigation or an incident. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. Alright, I am logged on to the portal. So when you visit security.microsoft.com, and you land up on the home screen and you scroll down to email and collaboration, click on policies and rules, click on threat policies. You under rules, click on advanced delivery. And in here, you would see an option. You can use exchange online PowerShell as well to connect to these options. And you can assign permissions using Microsoft Defender XDR Unified Role Bakes Access Control or email and collaboration permissions in the Microsoft Defender portal and exchange online permissions. Or you can assign through Microsoft Intra permissions. Under SecOps, I'm not getting an option uh, to do it. So you click on Edit. You click on Assign SecOps Mailboxes. Uh, a SecOps Mailbox is dedicated mailbox that's used by the security teams to receive unfiltered messages. Let's say I assign mine or I'll, I'll assign someone else's. This user, right? And then you can click on Save. Save. And after you're done with your lab, please make sure to remove it if you don't need it any further. Okay, now you close it. Okay. And now you see uh, that you have a display name, email address. And anytime you can just click on it, edit it, and you can remove this and click on save again. That is how you add or edit the list. And when you click on phishing simulation, here as well, you to configure a third party phishing simulation, you need to provide at least one domain. And here, phishing simulations are attacks orchestrated by your security team and used for training and learning. Simulations can help identify vulnerable users and lessen the impact of malicious attacks on your organization. Third-party phishing simulation require at least one sending domain entry, source domain or DKIM, and at least one sending IP entry to ensure message delivery. URLs present in the email message body will also be automatically allowed 
at time of click as a part of the phishing simulation system allow you need to add a domain okay you need to add a sending ip and you need to add the simulations url that you are allowing and then you will click on save the simulation will be configured and there must be a match on at least one domain and one sending ip but no association between values is maintained so if your mx record does not point to microsoft 365 the ip address in the authentication results header must match the ip address in the advanced delivery policy if the ip addresses don't match you might need to configure exchange filtering for connectors so the correct ip address is detected all right and if you've gone scroll down you can add it from here as well you want to add it from a mailbox or and same way for phishing simulation scroll down click on add okay for example for phishing simulation let's say you are adding a contoso.com to so ip address if you want to add a single ip ip range or a cid so cider i will do 192.25 simulation urls this setting is not required for links in email phishing simulation you can use this setting to optionally identify links in non email phishing simulations add url entries by expanding this setting here and you can add the urls okay and you can add add here click on add here it will show you the domain ip address and the simulation urls that you may or may not have added same way you can modify or delete them as well right so if you just want to delete or modify it in here in here save close and it is done okay i hope this video was informative for all of you if you have any further queries please mention them in the comment section and i will see you guys in the next video thank you have a great day